What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure video, and it's one of my favorite videos that we do every single year here on the channel, and it is the best WWE Elite action figures of the year. The year of 2022, man. Unbelievable year for WWE Elites and Mattel and just overall wrestling action figures. I mean, I'd probably say it's probably the best year overall, but it seems that every year gets better and better since the dawn of time. You know, it seems like every year has gotten better and better, but we have some unbelievable WWE elites today and it's not a top 10 it's not a ranking or anything if you guys want to see my personal top 10 WWE elites this year ranked like we've done with AEW action figures we did that with the ultimates let me know down below but today man we're just going to cover all these amazing figures man we're going to go through them one by one I'm going to talk about them what makes them so awesome all these different things and we're just going to break down every great WWE elite now to be honest with you not all of them are included here I cannot find my elite series 94 figures like the whole wave I can't find the whole wave like Bret Hart's missing Edge is missing those two would be included I think MSK would probably be in this video as well so some figures are probably going to be excluded by accident and I do apologize for that but I'll try to get them all in I, I tried my best I wrote them down I went through all the series and I think this is the cream of the crop with a few exceptions of course but let's shut the hell up and get into these figures and get through this thing now starting off first man let's start off with Dominic Mysterio now this is one of a few different build of figures that we got this year and it is just just a joy to pose around, man. I mean, look at this. Who would have thought that we would get little kid Dominic Mysterio when he came into WWE? Like, it obviously makes complete sense, but this guy can pose around fantastically. Look at these legs right here. Look at look at this pose right here. I mean, he is dunking on somebody right here. Air Jordan Dominic right now with this action figure. Unbelievable, man. The cloth shirt's great. The whole wave was pretty damn good. And speaking of which, I think I have like one figure featured here from that wave, but that whole wave was pretty damn good. So, huge shout out to that entire wave. This figure is immaculate and it poses around fantastically. Just, it's just such a good figure. I had to include it. Afterwards, we also have a look at two different Rey Mysterios. Now, this was the year of Rey Mysterio, but this is probably my two favorites we got. We had the Legends wave. We had the Royal Rumble wave. We had the SummerSlam wave that we just got through talking about. They put Rey Mysterio out like it was nobody's business. Also, I'm forgetting the Batman one. Hang on. I gotta get the damn Batman one. The damn Batman one. I mean, dude, they were releasing Rey Mysterio, like, it, it was incredible, man. This isn't including the Elite 92, the Legends, the SummerSlam, the Royal Rumble, the Greatest Hits. There was like eight or nine Elite Rey Mysterios this year. Just totally unbelievable. They're all amazing. This Batman gear is sick as hell. Great head sculpt, great color scheme. The Macho Man, which is my personal favorite. Unbelievable colors. It's supposed to have yellow boots, but I switched them. And then, of course, the other top talents. I mean, my God in heaven. I think these are three different top talents elites in the same year. Ridiculous. Now moving forward, speaking of Build-A-Figures, we had a couple Build-A-Figures right here. Now I know we didn't have a Build-A-Figure Seth Rollins, but we had this Build-A-Figure Mean Gene on this new suited body mold with double jointed arms. This is the best Mean Gene they've ever made, I'd say. Great suited body right here. We've learned that we're getting a new suited body coming in 2023, but the Doc Hendricks Build-A-Figure with the pink suit and pants. I know I made this fix-up Seth Rollins, and this is unbelievable, but this figure in general, even with the Doc Hendricks head, would still be perfect, but these two are fantastic. I love suited figures. I like backstage gears and promo attires, and both of these just take the cake for me. Unbelievable. Bow tie looking good for him there. I also look good in a bow tie, so this guy, yeah, they're getting the job done, man. I, I love these figures. These were two of my favorites of the year. This pink suit makes the world go round. Moving right along, we got a couple, actually, we have three. We have three different elites from Elite Series 95, which was a stellar set. It also featured Bobby Lashley which was a repaint. Didn't want to put him in here. Eddie Guerrero probably could be in here but his head sculpt kind of ducks some football points for me. But we did have the GOAT today. The GOAT in his return gear here. Kind of like a John Deere-esque looking gear. He's got the green and yellow which looks fantastic. Removable armbands. We are getting a repaint of this in 2023 with the 16 time champion attire which is what I wish this figure was but it's still the GOAT and he looks great. Great new head sculpt. This formula always works for me and this John Cena is fire. My favorite wrestler of all time, so that takes the cake there. We also have a look at Shotzi. Lots of tattoo deco on here. Unbelievable head sculpt. This figure can pose around well. This figure was great. I think her shoulder ended up getting stuck for a little bit, which kind of pissed me off, but this is a figure that's very toyetic. Her knee pads are pulled down there. I think I'm going to pull those off, but this is a great women's figure. One of the best women's figures of the year, no doubt. If not the, it may be the best WWE Elite women's figure of the year. And then we have Jimmy Uso, which you guys know we're getting the best of line in the SummerSlam 
wave of Jimmy and Jay Uso, but the Black Juggers Us, I mean, that is taking the cake for me. Uso's hat. I know a lot of people say it's Jay's head, and I think it is too, but it doesn't really fucking matter because it's Black Juggers Uso with the black sleeve. I, I, I'll fight somebody for this figure, so these three were fantastic, and Elite 95 was a great wave. Next up, Elite 93. This was the best figure from that set. It is Elite 93 Rollins. Great looking head. His head's a bit big, right? Like when you stand back here, his head's a bit big, but this is what's so great. They gave him the new formula. New double jointed arms for Seth Rollins. We got new thick thighs. People complained for years over the thigh size, and now we got new ones. We got a new kick pad mold. Lots of great stuff with this Rollins. One of my favorite current guys, and this figure's great. Hopefully, you know, with the new Ultimate AJ coming soon, maybe we can get a new formula for his elites moving forward as well, just like Rollins here in the Elite Wave. So, Seth Rollins is great. Hopefully, we get some re-releases of his older figures so that we can update them with the beautiful new technology and the new thighs. We have some more Elites right here. Of course, we have Elite 92 Adam Cole, one of my favorites from the year. I mean, just a great figure, man. I did switch the thighs, but the teal gear was sick. I, I love the head sculpt. This is a phenomenal Adam Cole. Definitely the best Adam Cole action figure ever created. That includes the unrivaled Jazzwares AEW version. This one kind of just beats that one's ass, and I say that in the nicest and most respectful way possible, with all due respect. Next up, a couple of Elite 98 figures over here, man. We have Randy Orton here. Now, this head sculpt's unbelievable. Unbelievable head sculpt here. Double jointed arms. Now, it is the Elite 78 gear, pretty much, except it does say RKO on the butt instead of Orton, but this is a damn good football figure right here, man. Head sculpt's phenomenal. I put the custom hoodie on there, which kind of makes it even better, but this Randy Orton's unbelievable. And then they put Finn Balor in there, the demon gear, and I, Finn Balor's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, I'd say. He's in my top 15 all time. I can just say that off the top of the dome. Not trying to crunch numbers here, but this demon figure is sick as hell. I wish they used a new head sculpt and they gave him Daniel Bryan legs. Still makes me vomit. Ah, oh, horse shit! <laughs> I don't know why they did that. However, this figure is still badass, and I, I love, you know, Demon Finn Balor, regular Finn Balor. Both of these were great, and Elite 98 wasn't terrible, and I'm pretty sure Rick Football Boogs was in there, and Rick Boogs, man, this figure right here blew my mind all over the room, man. When they when they posted photos of this guy, just an unbelievable figure, man. Head scope looks great. Formula's great. I like the Broncos country shirt he's got on right there. This is a phenomenal piece. I love the denim look of the figure. I like the light blue here, the shoes, great formula. I know this is rubber, but it doesn't hinder anything really, so I don't really give a goofy god dang. Removable ponytail for the different looks. Headband looks great. This is a phenomenal piece right here, and I'm not a Rick Books fan, but I can support an action figure that looks like you carbon copied the guy right off of my TV screen. Moving forward, we got some Ruthless Aggression figures and some figures from the Ruthless Aggression era, but let's just move some of these up here, man, because all of these, oh, Damian Priest. These figures man. I mean, some of these were just unfreaking believable The Ruthless Aggression was getting a lot of love this year, and I'm here for it all day and tomorrow. Starting out first, man, we did have Shawn Michaels in the Ruthless Aggression way. Some gear we've been waiting on for years. Finally got some of that, and we basically got a repaint of it here in the SummerSlam wave, but of course they are repaints. It's the same formulas, the same head sculpts and everything, but they are freaking amazing, man. The, we've been asking for long pants Shawns for years, and they finally gave it to us, and I am all happy, and we find, like, I probably, it was a blessing that they waited so long, because now we get them in double-jointed arm form, and that, see, we kind of, we've kind of finessed the game there, but these Shawns are unbelievable there. Doesn't matter which one you pick. Brock Lesnar, I know this isn't the most over-the-top figure, but just taking a ruthless aggression Brock and then putting him with double-jointed arms and stuff, it's pretty much a re-release of the Ringside Exclusive and the WrestleMania 32 Elite Brock. Batista rounds out the wave, and this is uh, just, oh my god, man. Evolution-style Batista, been waiting on one like this for years as well. Double jointed arms, great formula. Uh, using the ultimate head sculpt was a beautiful move. And sometimes this is all it takes to be in the best elites of the year, man. Doesn't take a whole ton. You can't just half-ass it, but, you know, it's it's not rocket science. This rock figure may be my favorite rock elite they've ever made. I love this head sculpt. This is just a... This encaptures the rock perfectly from this time period. The WrestleMania 18 version of rock here. I love this head sculpt. I want to get another one of these and put the white team just bring it 
shirt on with the jogging pants, but I love this rock figure. I'll be shocked if this isn't in my top 10 of the year. It's just perfect rock. Head sculpt, hair sculpt, just, just phenomenal. We also had a look at the Legends Kane. This is another great piece, man. The sculpted on mask and the likeness, the double jointed jacked arms. This look of Kane was phenomenal as well. Oh my god, man. If you're a Kane fan, you gotta have this figure. This is one of those that just hits you right in the feels. And then we also had a look at some Legends Edge figures. We have the regular version in the white with this immaculate trench coat, like an O2 version of Edge. And then we had the Chase variant red version with the same coat and glasses, but he is in red here. And I'm all aboard all the Edge figures. This would be the part of the video where I show off the Elite 94, but I can't find it for some reason. So help me find that. But all three of these, all our Ruthless Aggression figures were just simply incredible. We had Chainsaw Charlie, a very underrated figure, man. Great sculpts here. I love the bunched up sleeves, double jointed arms. I wish it had paint detail on the belt. And the head sculpt kind of sucks, but this figure is going to be slept on by a lot of people, and it's it's really effing good. I love the way it feels in the hand and poses around. I love the Chainsaw Charlie we got. We also had a reissue of Damian Priest, which is basically just a repaint, but the white gear, man. Damian Priest, his Elite from Elite 89 was in the top five last year. Maybe it have even been the top three last year of figures of the year. And this is that figure just re-sculpted a little bit with some with white and silver, which is two of my favorite colors. In white gear, I mean, this is going to make the world go around for me. And it's the Elite 89 figure. It just has better gear. So, I mean, what, that's got to be included in the best figures of the year. We also had Elite Series 96 featuring some pretty damn good figures. This Brock Lesnar is the Elite equivalent of the Ultimate Edition 15 figure. Smiley head sculpt, double jointed arms, great Brock Lesnar Elite. Probably, I mean, arguably the best Elite they've ever made of him. Especially current day with the man bun and everything. This is a fantastic figure. It's not as good as the Ultimate, but it's still very damn good and and I'd say just go track down the ultimate over this one. But if I see this hanging on the shelf, probably going to grab it. And then this is not the head sculpt that came on this Elite 96 Kofi. But it's still the Skeletor gear. And it, it really shocked me. I didn't expect to like it because it doesn't have lower leg rotation. But it's still a beautiful figure. And I think with that other head sculpt on it, it honestly looked better. But I don't really dock it. It's still a great figure and one that's going to be slept on by a lot of people. Moving on, we also had the quote-unquote biggest Elite we've ever seen this year in Elite 96. 97 Omos. Double jointed arms massive. This guy is absolutely massive and he feels really quality in the hand. I was kind of blown away by this figure as well but he could pose around pretty good. I like the boot and shoe mold. I like the torso. I can't even fit him on screen. That's how damn big he is. So great head sculpt. Great formula. I mean uh, when you do that and it, it looks just like the character that I see on TV you're going to be including the best figures of the year man. I mean these figures nowadays man with this true effects technology and all the details they're getting and the sculpts they're getting. I mean they they can pretty much create somebody to a T, and we're seeing that here with this Omos. Next up is the Survivor Series Rick Rude Build-A-Figure Wave Ultimate Warrior. This was the best figure in the wave, I think. Great attire, great head sculpt. It just looks like a superstar on the shelf. I love all the coloration that we're getting here. The only survivor there. I mean, the, the silver boots. I'm not an Ultimate Warrior guy, but this is clean as hell. Great Ultimate Warrior Elite that I think will probably go up in price over the years. Next up, we got a couple Hogans here. Now, now that I... Okay, Okay, so obviously this doesn't include Ultimates, so that disqualifies a lot of Hogan figures we got this year, but we have the Elite 96 and the Mega Powers. Now, you'll notice that uh, this is the Elite 96 head, but I put it on the Mega Powers body. I can't remember why. I think just to kind of show the head swaps, but they're virtually the same exact figure here. Two great figures by themselves. I know they're virtually the same figure, but I put boxing gloves on this one just because it looks great with that accessories pack, but Hulk Hogan had a great year. I mean, it's hard to argue with. He had a fantastic year of figures, and this the, these two are great. I like the Elite 96 more though. Also featured in that, we did have the Mega Powers Macho Man with the first time dark skin tone that we have not seen before. The hot dog, Hulk Hogan style tan came here and this is a great figure as well. I'm sure we'll get more machos with this tan, but this was the first one and I think they did a fantastic job. And rounding out our video, we have a few more Elites right here that all deserve some love. Good God. So coming back to it, we have a ringside exclusive right here and this figure is not that damn good, but just simply having dead man and ink pants and this torso in a different way than what we've seen in the past from Mattel. Automatically bumps this figure up. I like the Jack double jointed arms, the BSK pride tattoo on a torso for an Undertaker for future swaps and fix ups is great. And that's the reason this figure is on here. Just simply having the parts for the Dead Man Inc. and the BSK pride. Obviously a great figure. We have the Legends Farouk, which I thought was the best figure in that wave from his Acolytes time. Great head sculpt, great skin tone, just an awesome likeness to Farouk around this time. I really
really enjoy this figure. We have the Top Talents Rock figure in the blue jerk, in the blue attire here. I think this has been head swapped, but nonetheless, another double jointed rock figure that feels great in the hand. It's just not as good as the WrestleMania Elite we got, but this is still a phenomenal rock. And last but not least, a figure that I forgot completely was a 2022 release. This figure feels like it was released years ago, and here it is again. This Hurricane Legends figure is phenomenal. I love the cloth cape. I love the head sculpt. I love the double jointed black sleeved arms. Great formula for Hurricane, even though he does have Johnny Gargano syndrome. This Elite Hurricane is just, just outstanding. Great details. Very toyetic. Hurricane's looking phenomenal. I love this figure, but again, man, it feels like this figure was released in like 2019 or something like that, so that blew my mind. Nonetheless, man, that wraps up the best WWE Elite action figures of 2022. Another, again, man, just a fantastic year. I cannot wait to see what 2023 holds for our wrestling action figure collections. Not only just WWE, but WWE is bringing the heat, man. We already know of some stuff coming this year that's unbelievable, and I know it's only going to get better and better, so that, that is just great for us, but terrible for our wallets and our mental health. Nonetheless, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts this year on the 2022 Mattel WWE Elites. Go watch my top 10 ultimates of this year and top 10 AEW action figures of the year. I would greatly appreciate it. Get this video to a thousand likes if possible, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. You cross the line, I've been